Shanghai Pudong International Airport IATA, PVG, ICAO, ZSPD, is one of two international airports of Shanghai and a major aviation hub of China. Pudong Airport mainly serves international flights, while the city's other major airport Shanghai Hongqiao International Airport mainly serves domestic and regional flights. Located about 30 kilometers 19 miles east of the city center, Pudong Airport occupies a 40 square kilometer 10,000 acre site adjacent to the coastline in eastern Pudong. The airport is operated by Shanghai Airport Authority Chinese, Shanghai Ji Chong Ji Tuan Gong Si SSE, 600009. The airport is the main hub for China Eastern Airlines and Shanghai Airlines, and a major international hub for Air China, as well as secondary hub of China Southern Airlines. It is also the hub for privately owned Junyao Airlines and Spring Airlines, and an Asia-Pacific cargo hub for UPS and DHL. The DHL hub, opened in July 2012, is said to be the biggest express hub in Asia. Pudong Airport has two main passenger terminals, flanked on both sides by four parallel runways. A third passenger terminal has been planned since 2015, in addition to a satellite terminal and two additional runways, which will raise its annual capacity from 60 million passengers to 80 million, along with the ability to handle 6 million tons of freight. Pudong Airport is a fast growing hub for both passenger and cargo traffic. With 3,440,279.7 metric tons handled in 2016, the airport is the world's third busiest airport by cargo traffic. Pudong Airport also served a total of 66,002,414 passengers in 2016, making it the second busiest airport in China, fifth busiest in Asia, and the ninth busiest in the world. By the end of 2016, Pudong Airport hosted 104 airlines serving more than 210 destinations. Shanghai Pudong is the busiest international hub of China, and about half of its total passenger traffic is international. Pudong Airport is connected to Shanghai Hongqiao Airport by Shanghai Metro Line 2 and the Shanghai Maglev train via Pudong International Airport Station. There are also airport buses connecting it with the rest of the city. In 2017, Pudong International Airport passenger throughput of 70 million passengers, ranked second in mainland China after the Beijing Capital International Airport, mail throughput was 3.8356 million tons, ranked first in mainland China, and third in the world. Aircraft landed nearly 500,000 sorties too. Pudong Airport is also China's largest airport port, and arrivals reached 35.25 million in 2017. History Early development Prior to the establishment of Pudong International Airport, Shanghai Hongqiao International Airport was the primary airport of Shanghai. During the 1990s, the expansion of Hongqiao Airport to meet growing demand became impossible as the surrounding urban area was developing significantly, and an alternative to assume all international flights had to be sought. After deliberation, the municipal government decided to adopt the suggestion from Professor Chen Jiu of East China Normal University, who wrote a letter to the mayor of Shanghai Xu Kuangdi suggesting that the new airport should be constructed on the tidal flats of the south bank of the Yangtze River estuary, on the coast of the Pudong developed development zone to the east of Shanghai. Construction of the first phase of the new Shanghai Pudong International Airport began in October 1997, took two years to build at a cost of RMB 12 billion, 1.67 billion United States dollars, and was opened on October 1, 1999. It covers an area of 40 square kilometers, 15 square miles, and is 30 kilometers, 19 miles from downtown Shanghai. The first phase of the airport has one 4E category runway 4, meters by 60 meters along with two parallel taxiways, an 800,000 square meter 8, square feet apron, 76 aircraft positions and a 50,000 square meters 540,000 square feet cargo warehouse. A second runway was opened on March 17, 2005, and construction of phase 2 including a second terminal, a third runway and a cargo terminal began in December 2005. 2005 and started operation on March 26, 2008, in time for the Beijing 2008 Summer Olympics. 
In November 2011, Pudong Airport received approval from the national government for a new round of expansion which includes two runways. The 3,800-metre fourth runway, along with an auxiliary taxiway and traffic control facilities, is projected to cost 2.58 billion yuan $403 million United States dollars. The 3,400-metre fifth runway, along with a new traffic tower, will cost 4.65 billion yuan $726.6 million United States dollars. Construction was completed in 2015 and has doubled the capacity of the airport. Ongoing expansion Pudong International Airport officially started the third phase of the Pudong International Airport expansion with the construction on a new South Satellite Terminal on December 29, 2015. The new satellite terminal will be the world's largest single satellite terminal with a total construction area of 622,000 square meters, which is larger than the Pudong International Airport T2 terminal building, 485,500 square meters. The satellite terminal is composed of two halls, S1 and S2, forming an H-shaped structure. It will have an annual design capacity of 38 million passengers. The total cost of the project is estimated to be about 20.6 billion yuan. Halls S1 and S2 will have 83 gates. A high capacity people mover connecting T1 to SI and T2 to S2 will be constructed. After the completion of the satellite terminal in 2019, Pudong International Airport will have an annual passenger capacity of 80 million passengers, ranking among the top 10 airports in the world. Composition The airport has 70 boarding bridges along with 218 parking positions. Five runways are parallel to the terminals four operational, one 4,000-meter runway with 4E rating, capable of accommodating aircraft up to Boeing 747-400, two 3,800-meter runways with 4F rating, capable of accommodating aircraft up to Airbus A380, Boeing 747-8, and Antonov N225, and two 3,400-meter 11,200 feet runways runways with 4F rating. Pudong Airport currently has five runways. RWY 35L, 17R and RWY 34R, 16L are mostly used for landing while RWY 35R, 17L and RWY 34L, 16R are mostly used for takeoff. Runway 1533 is not in operation. Topic. Terminal 1. Terminal 1 was opened on October 1, 1999 along with a 4,000-meter runway and including a cargo hub. It was built to handle the demand for traffic and to relieve Shanghai Hongqiao International Airport's traffic. The exterior of Terminal 1 is shaped like a seagull, and has 28 gates, 13 of which are double-decker gates. The capacity of Terminal 1 is 20 million passengers. It currently has 204 check-in counters, 13 luggage conveying belts and covers an area of 280,000 square meters. The gates for Terminal 1 is 1 to 12, 14 to 29 linked with jetway, while the remote gates are 201 to 211, 533 to 543, 115 to 117, 201 to 211, 251 to 255, 256 to 258 and 511 to 521. <inaudible> Terminal 2 Terminal 2, opened on March 26, 2008, along with the third runway, gives a capacity of 60 million passengers and 4.2 million tons of cargo annually. Terminal 2 is shaped like Terminal 1, although it more closely resembles a wave, and is slightly larger than Terminal 1. Terminal 2 also has more levels than Terminal 1. Terminal 2 is primarily used by Air China and other Star Alliance members. The gates for Terminal 2 is 50 to 65, 67 to 79, 80 to 98. Note that gates 58 to 90 is used by both the C gates, used for domestic flights, and the D gates, used for international flights. 
The gates between gates 65 to 79 is only odd numbers 65, 67, 69, 71, 73, 75, 77, 79. Gates 50 to 57 and gates 92 to 98 is used for C gates only. The remote gates for Terminal 2 is 581 to 586, 589 to 590, 593 to 600, 801 to 816. Topic: <laughs> Satellite concourses. An additional satellite concourse facility to provide further gates and terminal space started construction on December 29, 2015 and is expected to be completed in late 2018. This project will support 38 million passengers annually through 83 departure gates across two S1 and S2 concourses. These will be connected by an underground automated people mover to the current T1 and T2 terminals. A CDM implementation The airport has been using the Airport Collaborative Decision Making System a CDM developed by the aviation data service company Veriflight since January 2017. The system is aimed to improve on time performance and safety of the airport's operations. By June 2017, Shanghai Pudong Airport recorded 62.7% punctuality rate, which was a 15% increase compared to the same period previous year. <laughs> <laughs> Airlines and destinations Passenger <laughs> 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 Topic Cargo Topic Statistics Topic Ground Transportation Topic Highway North, S1 Yingbin Expressway and Waxia Elevated Road. South, Shanghai Jiaxing Hujo Expressway and G1501 Shanghai Ring Expressway. Topic: <laughs> Maglev Train. Starting service on January 29, 2004 is the first commercial high-speed maglev railway in the world. Shanghai Maglev Train links Pudong International Airport with Longyang Road Metro Station, where transfer to Line 2, Line 7, and Line 16 is possible. The 30 km 19 miles ride from Longyang Road Metro Station to Pudong International Airport typically takes less than 8 minutes, with the maximum speed reaching 431 km per hour, 268 miles per hour. Trains operate every 15 minutes, therefore passengers can expect to arrive in less than 25 minutes, waiting time included. All cars are equipped with racks and space designated for luggage. Topic. Shanghai Metro Line 2 Shanghai Metro Line 2 also provides service between Pudong International Airport and Longyang Road, Lujiazui, People's Square, and Hongqiao International Airport, Shanghai's primary domestic airport as well as Shanghai Hongqiao Railway Station. Line 2 is part of the Shanghai Metro system, therefore unlike the maglev, free and system transfer to other lines are possible. Prices are substantially lower than the maglev. A casual ride to People's Square, the city center, typically takes just over one hour. It is wise to allow more than five hours for a safe flight transfer at Hongqiao International Airport using public transportation. It should further be noted that Line 2 operates in two sections. Trains from Pudong International Airport terminate at Guanglin Road, where passengers wishing to travel on change trains across the platform. In addition, not all trains go to Hongqiao International Airport. Topic: Airport buses. 
Eight airport bus lines serve the airport, providing rapid links to various destinations. Airport Bus Route 1, to Shanghai Hongqiao Railway Station via Shanghai Hongqiao International Airport Airport Bus Route 2, to Jing'an Temple City Terminal Hub Airport Bus Route 4, to Hongko Stadium Hub Yuan Road, via Deping Road at Pudong Avenue, Wujiaocheng and Dabaishu Airport Bus Route 5, to Shanghai Railway Station, via Longyang Road Metro Station, Century Avenue at South Pudong Road Lujiazui, and East Yan'an Road at Middle Zhejiang Road People's Square Airport Bus Route Route 7, to Shanghai South Railway Station, via West Waxia Road at Shangnan Road and East Waxia Road at Xuancha Road Xuancha Airport Bus Route 8, to Nanhui Coach and Bus Station Airport Bus Route 9, to Xinjiang Metro Station Airport Bus Ring Route 1, to Hangchengyuan Xiwan, via stops in Airport Workplace. <laughs> Accidents and incidents On November 28, 2009, Aviant Aviation Flight 324, an Aviant Aviation McDonnell Douglas MD-11F cargo plane registered to Zimbabwe registration, ZBAV, departing for Kyrgyzstan crashed into a warehouse near the runway of the airport due to a tail strike that caught fire during takeoff and broke into several pieces with seven people on board. Three people died and four were injured. Topic. Photo gallery Topic. See also Shanghai Hongqiao International Airport List of airports in China List of the busiest airports in China